got thousands of people in here. I can't believe you all came. Thank you all for coming. Welcome back to Hannity. We continue now with Democratic presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. I want to go back, and this drives me nuts, because I've been making the case that our current president, I don't think he knows today's Tuesday. He could not sit with me as you are and have this conversation, in my view. I think he is physically weak and cognitively a mess. And nobody wants to say it except a few of us. I want you to look at this tape and tell me if you think he's fit for the job. Take a look. Let's go late and lick the world. For Muslim, for, we cheer for Muslim athletes like Kareem al and 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 Joan, Shingang, Sh I'm going to pronounce right, Shanga Ko Koawa. Ban on transgender Americans, transgender Americans. Mr. President, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. I appreciate it's great it. to have you. It's thank, great you. To thank, have you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. It's a very exciting day around here. Um, we'll have reaction. I met alone with him, just he and I, and a simultaneous interpreter 68 times, 68 hours, 68 times, more than 68 hours. All right. God save the queen, man. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We really appreciate it, and we love you. Thank you. I might add, if I didn't, I'd be sleeping alone. <laughs> have to explain. I better explain that. Some don't know what I'm talking about. My wife's a Philly girl. All right, All right where are we going? Well, we're going to win, and we're going to help. We have plans to build a railroad from the Pacific all the way across the Indian Ocean. By the way, I met with uh, who are those guys that fly over shortly. You heard of them, haven't you? Okay. Do you believe that he is physically, mentally, cognitively strong enough to lead our country? This world is a dangerous place. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., you know that this is a dangerous place. Is he cognitively strong enough to be your president? Well, he's never been very good with words. <laughs> You know, all right, you get an A-plus for that answer. Is he, is he up to the job? I, how, first of all, let me ask, how many of you here think he is not up to the job? Let me hear. Now, I, I know that there's a reluctance for, for politicians, and you're, you're, you're a Democratic Party guy. You said that at the censorship hearing where they censored you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you've devoted your life to things you believe in, and it's probably hard for you to say that, but do you really think he's up to the job? No, but I, I wouldn't, I'm not reluctant to say that for partisan reasons, Sean. Okay. I, what I've tried to do during this campaign is avoid personal attacks on people. Uh -huh. and, but I, I, I will say, I will say whether he's up to it or not, whether he's making his own decisions, the decisions that are coming out of the White House are bad decisions. Right. And, you know, they, uh, I mean, the Democratic Party does not censor people, in my experience. Um, we're not the party of war. We're not the party of the neocons dictating foreign policy. We're the party of the middle class, and we're the party of working people. And that's not where the party is anymore. I, will, I would tell you... Here would be my agenda, and I think you agree on some of these things. I want to secure our borders. I believe every American has the right to be safe and secure in their town, in their city. That means we have to have law and order. It's a prerequisite to pursue happiness. I want an economy that is thriving, an opportunity economy, where everybody, regardless of where you start in life, can climb that ladder to success. I want a mean, tough, kick-ass, killer military that would serve as a deterrent to any hostile regime that might have ill intentions towards us. Uh, I believe in peace through strength with all my heart, control our borders, all these things. Sim I believe that educational school choice, we agree on these things? Yeah, we agree on all those things. No. <laughs> One area. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.